Hello and welcome to another episode of We The Doctors. My name is Dr. Oke. In studio today, I have as always Dr. Yvonne. Hi, you're welcome. And Dr. Valeria. Hello guys, you're welcome. Um, you know guys, the last time we spoke about health insurance, we yeah. had lots of responses from people yeah. and we just Which realized... is very encouraging yes. anyway, because it tells yeah. you that a lot of people are aware yeah. and they're interested in getting yeah, exactly. health insurance. They're eager. And so I think we're beginning to do the jobs of nature. For me, yeah. are, and then for me, a lot of people are watching the show. Yeah, really? no, they're yeah. hungry for because, information, yes, basically. People are hungry That's for healthcare information, yes. and then they are watching. Absolutely. And um, they asked lots of, lots of questions, and because of the questions you asked, the misconceptions you threw up, yeah. the confusions you threw out also, we've created this show as a second episode yes, of really. health insurance. So we'll be discussing health insurance again today, and we'll be breaking down the misconceptions, talking about how it works. Of course, you know what health insurance is. It's, a means, it's an alternative means yeah. of healthcare payment True. or structured payment where... Um, lots of people pull money together and then we used to take care of the person who falls ill. Mm -hmm. So um, earlier on, if you go to YouTube now and watch our previous... There's not lots of... You know, not necessarily lots of people pull money together. Mm. I think so that... So people, people may not... People don't get... Exactly. Miss, uh, as it's just that you pay money. There's, a, a premium, there's an amount you pay or someone pays on your behalf that covers for your health care for a period of time. Yeah. So but whether you know, it's for a know, year yeah. or whether it's monthly. I understand the fact that lots no, of people... I'm trying to explain, yeah. So they don't, they don't think that the money is doubled somewhere. Yes. It really doesn't double anywhere. It's because yeah. lots of other people are doing the same thing you are doing. And why we, are, why we you know why we emphasize lots of people is because we want them to... We want you, as you're watching, to talk to your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you have a health insurance? Then encourage your neighbor, teach your neighbor yeah. what you've learned in the previous show and what you're about to learn in today's show. Yeah. And um, because of the questions you sent in, we'll be talking about the misconceptions that people generally have. Um, should I start with you, Dr. Okay, Ivan? no, yeah. someone... Okay, um, we can pick it up. Some people will yeah. say that one of the misconceptions is the fact that um, people that have health insurance usually have access to quality health care. Now, it's true, and then it's also false it's in true. a way. Mm -hmm. Now... It's true in the sense that if I have health insurance yeah. and you do not have health insurance, mm -hmm. if for eventual, for, for whatever reasons, I need to see a doctor, I have access to see the doctor at any time because I have paid for it. Yeah. Uh, insurance cover me, the way they say. So I can walk into the hospital. <laughs> well, true, insurance cover Exactly, you insurance cover me. So I can go to the hospital and say that I want to see a doctor. Nobody will ask me questions. They will call the doctor out. The doctor will see me, will attend to me. You, on the contrary, when you come to the hospital, they will tell you that you want to see a doctor. They tell you our consultation fee is 10000 10, To register, it's 5000 5, That one is just to talk to the doctor. We have not added any drugs. You never we, have not had, we have not done investigation. They've not done uh, x-ray yeah. and other things. So at the end of the day, you might be paying fifty or 60000 Only you go think twice. After you hear that one, you just think that, look, if I go home, there's one hub that you can get a buy leave here and boil and drink. And that way, I'm going to get a better health care because I'm seeing the doctor, yeah. I'm getting my drugs, they're doing investigations for me. And then you, on the other hand, because of financial issues at that point in time, might go to the chemist and they can miss drugs for you. And the drug might not work. You'll be going back and forth, you understand? So that way, I'm getting health care, getting access to good quality health care. Now, the first part is this. Some other person who has the money, right? Can also go to any hospital that he likes. He can, in fact, he can like he can go ab go abroad without health insurance. Yeah. I said this morning I don't feel like seeing a GP in London. You understand? <laughs> eh? I don't wake up and say I want to go see my GP. I said, Doctor, I've come right here to see you. Doctor I'm not feeling well. You understand? <laughs> and then he can pay the money there and then without issues, without sweat. Yeah. So to him, he's getting better. Healthcare, you understand? Yeah. Based on another, without yeah. necessarily another, another insurance. way to look at it is um, if you have health insurance mm -hmm. and you are sitting in the same reception yes. with somebody who can pay and doesn't have health insurance, yes. you don't get better health care than that person that has health insurance. Mm -hmm. And the person that has health insurance doesn't, doesn't get, get better, better health care yeah. than you. So the idea mainly is we want health insurance pushes lots of people to getting access to health care. It's not necessarily that you are getting better health care than who doesn't have. You have to understand it. But we want it creates more, it's like quantity. 
when but we're not talking about quantity ahead of quality. When we're talking about even this healthcare, yeah. this healthcare of a thing we're talking about, it also depends on the severity of the case at hand. Thank you. You can't be expecting. Uh, there was a story someone told me yesterday of like, they were doing this health screening in a particular local, as in rural area. So there was a lady that was complaining that ah, she was so sad. The man I went to go and meet her to ask her, ah, mama, what is the question? Why are you so? Uh, what's the problem? Why are you so angry? Mama said that. Can you imagine that that other woman at that, 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 that side, they gave her a lot of drugs. Meanwhile, they gave her very small <laughs> drugs. Like that, meanwhile, I that meanwhile her own problem is worse than that woman's problem. Okay. How do you know yeah, that? Yeah, I don't understand what I'm saying. So I think it depends on the issue at hand. So you, that's how that's we should as a measure this healthcare. Exactly. exactly. Um, exactly. One other misconception mm -hmm. we got um, from you was that um, you said employers should bear the total cost of your employee health care. Fine. It can be expensive, still depending anyway on the as an issue at hand. Or however the case may be, the cost of being sick, I think, mm. is far ah, more is far is far more expensive than you can ever imagine. So health, as in, I would try, I'll say it's false anyway. That's false. I won't go with that. Health um, um, care is not um, expensive all the time, and that's not the basis for the um, what was in the health oh, insurance yeah, health in insurance. first place. All right, yeah. so a lot of people think that people that have health insurance do not get quality health care. And I kind of reason we use sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, it depends on your plan and package. Yes. You know, there is the general. We have bronze, we have silver, silver we, we have, have gold, gold, we, we have, have platinum. You can even have diamonds. Out of the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> so all these things have category. Yeah. So yeah. the basis, the plan that you are, your category will determine the kind of treatment you that get. you will get. You understand? So that doesn't necessarily mean that people that have health insurance don't get access to good care. And they gain your and hospital. And then hospital yeah. also matters. You need to ask questions. Because, for example, sometimes Dr. K was saying earlier in the previous episode that sometimes some doctors, for some reasons, have to cut corners. Yes. So if, for example, this person is sick and needs antibiotic, and the doctor knows that this antibiotic that this person would take is going to help. But this antibiotic is 5,000. This other one is 100 naira. And your package... <laughs> It's general package. Yeah. You have to see some yeah. naira. So it so, has to fall. So the hospital, it's just the same way when you go to want to take a flight. Yeah. It's the same so you have first class and yeah. economy, and then you have premium economy. Uh -huh. You understand? So the doctor will be looking like like a five thousand naira drug economy. So for a week package. So he will give you one for six hundred naira, and then yeah. maybe the patient may come around. But then again, no matter what, yeah. the doctor owes you the responsibility yes. for good quality health care. So whether or not within the limits of what yeah. the HMO has asked you to do, agree to do exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just exactly. like when you haven't seen patients anyway. When you try to uh, prescribe antihypertensive uh, and the rest of them, so they're different based brands. On, yes. Some are more expensive than, than others, the and they can't afford. Some people can actually can't afford and those And the HMO ones. lists so what actually, is available exactly. for each package. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you give so them what's available. So if you want to go beyond that, you yeah. have to actually come. come absolutely. Them absolutely. All right. We'll be taking a short break, and when we come back, Doctor Yvonne is going to be leading us in another segment, telling us the benefit things that you can enjoy when you have health insurance. Please stay tuned with the doctors. We'll be right back. Hi, and welcome back. It's We The Doctors. If you're just joining us, we've been talking about health insurance. I'm Dr. Yvonne, and we are here to answer all your questions. We were bombarded with so many questions concerning this topic. It seems like this topic is out of this world, but we are enjoying it anyway, and we are answering your Everybody questions. Everybody wants and to get access yes, to healthcare, and we are so still clearly. answering yeah. the questions anyway. What we're going to be do doing now is basically still as in answering some of the questions they were asked, because somebody asked a question saying, what are the list of things, things that can be can covered, covered yeah. under this health insurance? So these are the things I will be talking about in this segment. Yes, um, emergency services. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's most important. Most important. Yeah. Because, you know, when we're talking about health insurance, we emphasized earlier yeah. that it's because of unforeseen health emergencies and issues. Anybody at any time can fall ill. True. can see someone that has appendicitis. And the minute they need to take that person to the theater mm -hmm. to go and do appendicitis. Should, I, should yeah. I tell you my story of appendicitis? Yes. I was at work. I had appendicitis. It was clear-cut appendicitis. Because I was a doctor, I took, gave myself the first set of um, antibiotics, painkillers. I didn't know okay. antibiotics. Painkillers, I am. I couldn't get the line. IV was yeah. what I should. I gave myself the first set of I am antibiotic. I am painkillers. Painkillers. The pain went down. Yeah. Two hours later, it was crazy. It was up. I am with injection, yeah. by the way. And by the way, then I was working in an enclosed area. It's like offshore kind of job. Wow. I had to be in a place that. But because I was working not just for an emergency company, but for a company that provided evacuations also mm -hmm. in health insurance services. Mm -hmm. I just called my wife. She got placed the, I tried to call the office. I didn't get across. Placed the call across. So it was an ambulance that picked me, moved me, as you say, moved me to land. 
because of health insurance, moved me in. I think along the line, in the ambulance, they sedated me because the pain was so bad. They sedated, sedated me. Um, mm -hmm. By the time we got there, my wife assigned my everything she was trying to send. On waking up, surgery had been done. Now imagine, and let's be truthful, I had zero in my account at that time. No, I so that, now, now, yeah. now, now imagine mm -hmm. if it was the other way around. You yeah. were not a medical personnel. At all. You did not have health insurance. And then you had an emergency surgery at that point in time. And you go to hospital. You know how hospitals do? Say, go and deposit 500k. <laughs> and they're not even looking at your face. They're telling you, oh, her. If you don't have the money at that point in time, what do you do? Yeah. Who do you look to? That's so true. that's why, and because you'll not be upset because 50, your 15,000 naira that you'll have paid for health insurance, you understand? Would have, Will yes. have covered you yeah. from this 500,000 naira. The good was it was employer based health insurance. Thank you. That covered yeah. and then, so, everything. Apart from this emergency insurance. service, yeah. you also have hospitalization. You are in the hospital for the next couple of days. The hospital takes care of you. They are giving you drip. They are giving you antibiotics. You understand? Treating you for whatever issues that you have is there. And you have maternity. And you know, Shantia, which is yeah, very important. That very would help us reduce yeah. maternal mortality. True. So you know that you can go to this hospital. You have been paid for. Go for your antenata. You want to deliver there. You understand? Your child is in very good hand. You understand? Child will get the immunization as the child should get, the vaccination that you should get. At that point in time. So health insurance is very important. As we are here, the doctors are here, I have health insurance. Dr. K has health insurance. My, my, Doctor, my, my health exactly. insurance card is We also have health insurance. Yeah. Yeah. We are doctors. Yeah. But you also have health yeah. insurance. And I make sure that I got my health insurance in one of the best hospitals. That I know that anything happening. And that's why yeah. and that's why you always see, let's get this thing clear. You have these things, but don't abuse this system. Yes. Uh -huh. I wanted to accuse Dr. Waleri of abusing this system. No, no, no I'm not going to. I'm not going no, there. Not I, I, I have no business <laughs> there. If I no, I even treat myself most of the time if I have yeah. anything. But just in case, you understand, that's why health insurance is important. Exactly. Other services too. Let us let us cut this long story short. <laughs> like prescription drugs, like he said, when one gets admitted, or even if you're not even admitted, you're, you're being seen for something else that doesn't require admission. You are given medication, depending on what, as in the plan is anyway. Like we said yeah. before, mm -hmm. so there are prescription drugs. Also, other services like rehabilitative and physiotherapy, like for people that maybe uh, um, had an injury and they are trying to go through the physio whole process of the physiotherapy, rehabilitative process, and the rest of them, and also the laboratory services too. And people so you want can to go there and go and do your test, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Even when those things, as in there are some other tests that may not be covered under this, um, your, the basic, your, your, your basic, the basic exactly. plan, yeah. Then they will not have to contact your HMO, HMO to be able to... Find to find so can we do this thing for this person? Yeah. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of services. You know, there are, when we talk about lists of things that can get covered, often in the hospital, what we get um, is people asking us, hey, doctor, that my health insurance, does it cover for my glasses? Mm. Mm. So these are the things, your eye care is actually covered, yeah. depending on what package you're in. You have to understand that everything in health can be covered by your, by your insurance. Um, your eye care is covered. I've seen kids that needed um, braces, braces, and we're lucky to have been on a package that covered braces. Those things are pretty expensive. Mm. They are. Pretty expensive. Yeah. I, saw, I thought surgeries were the most expensive things They're in the hospital. Expensive. Try braces. So <laughs> the child was covered, and I was really impressed about that. Then we also have packages that can cover you for mental illnesses. Now, when we talk about it, everybody at home says, God forbid. But nobody knows who it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So the same way you are covered for um, emergency services, for example, yeah. you are covered for mental illnesses, even preventive programs. True. Someone that has long-standing hypertension, you want to check what's the position of your kidney. There's nothing wrong with your kidney at that point. But, but you know, I mean, it helps yes. you. It's a guide. Yes. You understand? Because you know that those are the target <laughs> organs that may get, yeah. get complications from that. Yeah. And then that way you can check it. Some check their eyes. You also have the dentist. Yes. You know, quite a number of things and all of that. All right, we'll be taking a short break. I will be going on the street to find out from people. And we still on the street. Do you have, have health insurance? insurance? I think yes. we should Still, have you get health it. insurance is important. Still, you get it. <laughs> you will not stop. We'll keep asking you, do you have health insurance? So yeah. stay tuned. We'll be right back. The skin, you have already contributed to that. And what is so beautiful about this is it's not the amount you contribute, but you're a beneficiary to that pool of funds. Everybody's funds. For everybody's funds. So HMO is like saying, and like health insurance, yeah. I bring my one naira, but everybody brings their one naira and, and you have a pool we of decide resources. to use it. Now, Dr. Tan, I'm going to ask you a question straight from one of the questions we had um, on our Twitter handle. Um, somebody said that he went to the hospital. I don't want to call his name. He actually asked that we shouldn't call his name, but now you know he's a man. That he went to the hospital, and at the hospital, presented his HMO card, his health insurance card. He saw the doctor, 
but at some point he was told he wasn't covered, even though he was being he had paid his premium, premium meaning this small money that they should pay at the beginning of the month, even though he had paid, but he was told he wasn't covered. And he ended the statement by saying, HMOs are cheats. Now I'm going to ask you, do you cheat people? Do you defraud people? I know you don't you don't know this is coming, but I have to seriously, he wants to know, so I want to know. Do you in Oceanic Kelts, do you defraud people? HMOs are credible organizations. They are credible organizations that have been fully accredited by the regulator with set of rules. Okay. Oceanic Health, which is an HMO, is a credible organization. And what this means is we have a name to protect. All HMOs have a name to protect. They are credible enough to ensure that the set of contract they have with their clients who are the insured must be respected at every given point. They, before even their contract consummates, an HMO makes sure they have a contract with the hospitals who actually are the ones that provide the services. And based on the contract, depending on the set of benefits package that is agreed upon, you will now be able to assess the hospital. Many a time, there's always this level of, um, will I say, not actually communicating what is actually covered at a particular point in time. In the HMO market, there are many different kinds of plans. At the hospital, you find out that other HMOs may have several plans, the other one may have several plans. But you find out that many of those plans have the same semblance. Typically, you find out that they are almost of the same nature. And what normally happens, like the patient may have actually have a little kind of uh, misconception about what his benefit package may be. Okay. And typically, an HMO is not just to collect your money and I tell you to go to the hospital and know. The role of an HMO is to ensure that you have access to quality, affordable health care at the hospitals. They ensure that you are, your health is being monitored. By chance, when you get to the hospital, there are any issues. You call your HMO. You'll be able to intimidate, intermi in, in, to be able to monitor your care at that hospital. We do kind of a quality assurance. We want to make sure that the quality of services you are being given at the hospitals are up to standards. You want to be sure that we monitor and review cases, in terms of both admissions, surgical cases, and all those stuff. And also, for referral purposes, there are some hospitals that may not have the prerequisite um, personnel or even the, the equipment to handle some medical cases. The role of the HMO is to ensure that when such happens, appropriate referral protocol are obeyed. You either refer from a primary hospital to a secondary hospital or to a tertiary hospital. Now, yeah. let me ask you this way. In simple terms, if they say somebody is on one package or the other, I hear things like silver, gold, platinum. Yeah. Are HMO saying that healthcare should be based, different people get different things? You know, there's this thing, all men are born equal. Are HMO saying, Okay, you guys are born equal, but you can't just access equal care. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like, I like, because they want to know. Okay. They want to know, should I forget silver and go for platinum? So what happens in this case is that um, the health plans are designed in order to fit into different levels. You have the basic health plan platform, which probably in some cases, you either you have the basic or the standard. What this means is that it must contain the basic health package. NHIS to a large extent have actually set what the minimum basic package ought to be, and we should cover both preventive and then curative. And you will find out that in some cases, some people want top up. Those top up are what brings about the silver plan, the gold plan, and others. Some people may want, in addition to the basic health cover, I want to have additional, probably dental, eye, and some other benefit packages. And those are the things that make up. So depending on your purchasing power, I will use the word purchasing power, you can assess additional services by migrating to all, any of those um, higher plans. Okay. Yeah. Now, you are the MD of your company, Shani Kelts. Let's look at it this way. I go to a hospital, I'm not satisfied. I call my HMO, I'm not satisfied. They even pull the phone, I'll be push the phone across to you. And I talk with you, and I'm still not satisfied. Who else do I go to? 
because you know sometimes I feel like I've met the MD so and I'm not getting help. What do I do next? What do I do next? Okay. Um, the law setting up the HMOs have made it in such a way that when there are issues okay. between the insurer, that they enrollee, the client, and the HMO or even with the hospital, and you have not been able to fully resolve the issues. The National Health Insurance Scheme, who is the regulator, have made it in such a way that the arbitration panels that they had set up to be able to handle this. And who are the members of the arbitration panels? They may be independent body that may be appointed by the two warring parties, okay. in addition to the National Health Insurance Scheme, to be able to fully arbitrate on any issue that may arise. But however, you will find out that it is not a reoccurring case. Many a time, issues are either resolved. And what are the common issues? At the hospitals, either the name is not on the list, or there are issues of um, communication gap between the enrollee and the hospital. And the HMO role is to make sure that those gaps are breached, and the enrollee should be able to have his care or her care at the hospital. More importantly, the role of the HMO is to make sure that the client, the insured, the enrollee, must have access to the hospital. And the hospital is still a, has a relationship with the HMO, who will be able to discharge he, her services to the enrollee by making sure that the hospitals are adequately and promptly paid for the services they have rendered to the HMO and to the enrollee. The enrollee is to make sure that access to that hospital, to the care, is given, and not just having access, quality care is equally given by making sure that we monitor all the cases. We ensure that even the cases of surgeries are reviewed and, um, and agreed upon. And we are ensuring that even when the surgeries are being done, we monitor the, the clients up to the time the person is being discharged from the hospital. So you want, it's a kind of a total quality care that the HMOs tend to do. And it is not just only about attending hospitals. We want to make sure that the enrollee, the clients, are have equal way being by making sure the health needs, like sending SMS to inform them have they done their BP and all those stuff. Okay. So it's not just limited to attending hospitals alone, but just to make sure that the well being, the health well being of every individual in that network is ensured. Now, Dr. Charles, if there is one advice you have for our viewers concerning health insurance, what would it be? Okay, my advice is this. In order to achieve the universal health coverage, individuals out there, corporate organizations, are encouraged to bring in their staff under the health insurance scheme. Individuals who are out there, the market women, the artisans, are encouraged to have access to health insurance because you may not you need health health care you need access to health care when you may this need uh, a space such health insurance tends to bridge the gap when the need for care is so needed it probably may be the time that the person may not be able to afford it but by bringing picking and paying a token amount of premium you have insured yourself your family over a period of time probably one year and year about Right. Thank you, Dr. Charles, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Now, that has been um, the interview session for today's show. We, the doctors, will be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, you're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is We, the Doctors. My name is Dr. Valeria. We have been talking about health insurance. And it's been an interesting episode talking about health insurance, the importance of health insurance. And then in this segment, we're still going to continue on the same thing, talking about the advantages of health insurance. Now, the thing I've been saying, I will keep saying and telling you how many in your head is that you don't know when you will fall ill. You don't know when health insurance yeah. will be a benefit for you. So please... Right now, call, pick up a call, or research, or look out for HMO that you can go to and say, look, yeah. please, I need to get health insurance. Right now, it's really, really poor in our environment. We it have is. just 5% of our population Absolutely covered. less than 5%. Less than five. You know, I was in Ghana three years ago or so, when it was their 10th year of NHIS, National Health Insurance Camp, and I was perplexed for what I found out. You know, apparently, they had a very high 
level percentage of yes. universal health care coverage. Yes, you understand? Ghana. Because they made it compulsory. So because of that, maternal mortality in Ghana had been That's decreased. Reduced. Greatly. But you know, another thing that helps is budgeting. Yeah. When you have a budget that no, but the good thing 26 is 26% yes. of the budget to health care. Yes. 26% of the budget to health care. And then I think a large percentage to education also. If you do that, why won't you have... Yeah, but thankfully, um, yeah. thankfully, we understand that there are some people that are the vulnerable. And there are people that are, you know, children that cannot afford this thing. Yes. And thankfully, well, the new government has promised to provide health insurance. And that I know of, you know, no, basically. You know, so I the think, government yeah. moving forward is going to be paying a premium yes. on some people. Mm -hmm. you know, and there's also the mobile health insurance that I also hear is coming up, you understand, basically, where people can use their phones and access, phones, to, have access to have health, access yeah. to health insurance and all of that, depending on your network provider. And then that's going to be coming up very soon. Big, I think, time. Um, imagine you have to go to hospital three times a month mm -hmm. with hypertension. Yeah. And let's say each time you go, your visit is 5,000. Yeah. And if you spend 15K. But, and your premium in a month, maybe less than 10,000. True. Premium even in a year, in some cases. In a year, yes, depending on what uh, Exactly, exactly. And what question do we have from social media? You know, we've been treating questions and questions and questions, but um, this particular question, I felt we should single it out. Okay. Mention his name. And Emmanuel sent us a question through our Twitter handle. Our Twitter handle is at the doctors. And Emmanuel says, Dr. Okay, how are we sure that both our employers and the HMOs are not tripping us off when they collect this money? <coughs> This person is one of those people that will abuse. No, he's not that one will of abuse those health insurance. He's not one of those people that will abuse. He's somebody that, for God's sake, if you spend well, one dollar of your money, I know. you want to be sure you're I getting know. the reward. I know. One dollar. But then again, yeah, I mean, there's regulation. Yes. Um, in the country now, look at it this way: you have the um, healthcare facilities, the hospitals. Then you have the HMO who pays the hospitals. Then you have NHIS, National Health Insurance Scheme. That's the um, regulatory starter, body. The regulatory, regulatory body that says. Okay, this HMO is doing what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. This is not doing what it's supposed to do. Or right, this HMO, you've not sent us your report for this quarter. We want to see it. In fact, and NHS is very effective because <laughs> recently, yeah, they're actually very effective. No, I don't have any stake for saying NHS. You, you, you just said, hmm. <laughs> no, but recently <laughs> they banned, yeah. they banned, um, I think, as much as 17 HMOs for some um, practices that were not proper. And then they moved their patients their clients to other HMOs. Oh, wow. Yes, they did that. And the reason is, understand this, the HMOs must have some financial backing True. to be able to take care of your health, even if it should be beyond what you have paid, because that's the contract they have with you. So you shouldn't be scared that your employer is ripping, ripping you off. Don't be scared that the HMO is ripping you off. Also, don't be scared that the hospitals are ripping you off, because NHIS is mm -hmm. actually there to monitor it. Mm -hmm. And really, we hope you enjoyed mm -hmm. um, today's particular episode. If you have um, questions, contributions, you have to go right now to Twitter, at We The Doctors. One word, at We The Doctors. Follow us on Twitter, send in your comments. We are happy to have them. We're happy to know that you are actually listening, you're actually watching the show, that you're a part of this conversation. And then you can go to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash We The Doctors. We The Doctors as one word. And then like us, send in your comments, we answer. And if you missed any episode, you heard one we talked about in the previous episode of Health Insurance. You can go to YouTube right now. Go to YouTube. In the side, just type We The Doctors. You find lots and lots of episodes, and you can actually play these videos for your neighbors, show them, True. educate them. That's actually the aim of this show. And we've talked about health insurance again. If you want us to have a third episode of health insurance, send them questions that are trying to that we discuss that. I will be glad yeah. to do that for you. So we'll come your way next time, guys. The same. Stay Bye, guys. Yeah. And stay, and stay healthy. healthy. Bye. Bye. To enjoy more of this our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.